I've been seeing you in this laundromat like every day. I was thinking maybe me and you can meet up later. No, 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 no. This guy that's standing by, I don't know this guy. I don't know this guy. Why is he cop blocking? Come on. You've been running through my mind like crazy. Are you tired yet? I'm sweaty from hooping and killing people. I was thinking maybe I can come to your house and take a shower later. No, 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 not like killing people, like, like beating people up. No, not like that. Man, just get to the video. Yo, rate my ribs, y'all. What do y'all think my ribs was? I think, I think, I think it was a good eight, seven. I, I bounced back. I bounced back. What's good, y'all, man? Hey, all jokes to the side. I got a Meta Six Nine build that's going to break the game. I'm also going to show you what you need and don't need, and I'm telling you, this build is going to help you win on the ones, twos, and threes, and rec two as well. You can play center, point guard, whatever you want with this build. This is why. Six Six nines are broken in the game, and I'm gonna give you the sauce. Before we get into this video, DF stand up! Make sure you like and subscribe. Whoa! Bro, really, dog? I'm just having a bad day, man. That dude just cop block on me and everything. Then I got this guy with this magic carpet. Just get into the video. Here's the bill. All right. I'm gonna show y'all the build breakdown. If y'all can like up, I really appreciate it. and subscribe. Thank you so much. We're trying to go for that 50K. Y'all are goats. All right, we're going with the position of point guard. Doesn't matter what hand or number. 6'9, 187 pounds, 74 wingspan, compact weight. I'm gonna show you the breakdown of this build and I'm gonna highlight some of the stats. So if you skip over this, that's on you. If you just pause the video and that's fine, that's fine too as well. Or if you stay and listen, that's cool well. So for driving dunk, I went with an 86 because I wanted contact dunks and you're able to have limitless takeoff. Also too, you have an 85-3 and a 71 mid range. You can both green with that easily, okay? 85-3, you can really green with that. I have a jump shot video for you if you need it as well. Um, free throw is a 78 for my rec players. Now, if you don't play rec, you can take away this free throw and put it towards something else. But I know some people play rec and pro-am. I wanted to cater to y'all. 76 passing accuracy. 76 passing accuracy give you the LeBron passing accuracy. If you're on next gen, if you're on current gen, you get nothing. But the 76 accuracy... It's definitely worth it. So you need it on current gen and next gen because it definitely makes your passing speed a little faster. This is basically your bullet passer this year, and I'm pretty sure y'all know that. Ball handling is at 87, and ball speed is a 76. You only need a 76 ball speed in this game. You do not need something crazy like a 90 or anything like that. You can get the Michael Jordan um, size up. That is good, and um, you can be able to use it in the game. So only a 76 that's all you need you don't have to worry about anything else now you worry about post scores and people playing pulling up on you that centers that you're going to be playing in the rec and pro-am and such and such you have an 88 interior with this guy you have um gold lockdown okay post lockdown now if you don't want gold you want silver you can take it down put it to where you want to but i recommend you to have that because it definitely does work and being versatile in this game is very very important especially when you come and you're playing on 1v1 court and stuff like that perimeter defense i went with a 90 you got clamps on um on silver and you also have intimidator with challenger this year on gold i definitely recommend you to have that so definitely keep that there um still you have an 85 you have silver glove silver glove is like the balance of getting really good steals because steals is still op in this game you can still get really good steals with silver glove so i recommend you to definitely put on silver glove and definitely have that there 93 block people are asking why you go with block the reason why i went with block because you're able to get anchor on gold pogo stick on gold okay that is so very important especially like when you're trying to defend the rim Anchor really works this year, and Pogo Stick works this year too. Last year really didn't work, but I like it. it. You know, this year is pretty good, pretty solid. Offense rebound left at a 57. You can still rebound pretty good with that. You are 6'9", and you do have a long wingspan, but most of the time you're going to be rim running or shooting the shot and making it. And if you're playing with a center with this build, 
you definitely don't need offense rebound. Now, defense rebound on that hand, I definitely recommend you to have that just in case your center miss a shot or whatever, or just in case you miss a shot, you can maybe get the rebound. You have a all defense rebound of 73. Speed of 75, you do not need speed this year like that, okay? 75 speed is pretty good with this build. It's pretty solid, all right? What you do need is acceleration. That's why we went with the uh, minimum weight because I wanted you to have the 81 acceleration because the 81 acceleration, you definitely know it's a difference. This controls your ball control, every, I mean, your ball speed, everything. Like you'll see it tied together. You'll definitely thank me later. Now we have a 73 strength. The reason why I went with a 73 strength, you can still lock up people and still guard people with a 73 strength. The reason why I went with that, you get a plus four, was plus five in the Gatorade facility. Also too, as well, um, you get with your takeover, you get a plus 10 with that. With one takeover, that's gonna be 83. And then if you put double lock on, that's toxic you're gonna have a 93 strength. So you really don't need like that crazy strength and you do get brick wall and bronze and brick wall and bronze work just as well and just as good. But like I said, if you wanna, you know, you know, fluctuate the stats a little bit, that's okay as well too. Vertical, I gave you an 80 vertical because like I said, you get a bonus with Gatorade and vertical this year, 80 vertical is very, very solid. So I recommend you to do that. If you don't like that, you can go down to a 76. Stamina is a 96. That's plenty of stamina to do what you need to do. I always use 96 stamina on all my builds. If you want to lower it down to a 92, I've seen that too before. But I feel like 96 is a sweet spot with this build, all right? Now, the takeovers with this is pretty amazing. You get um, limitless range takeover. You get spot precision. You get the playmaking takeover. You get the lockdown takeovers. You also even get like the, the takeovers like the paint, um, the centers would get too. And that's pretty cool about this build too. Whatever you prefer, um, you know, I recommend. And you see the lineup that is here. This is the build that you have. You have a three and D point. You got magic, the mellow ball, Lonzo ball. You have these goats definitely right here in front of you, man. Let me know what y'all think about the build. Click on any one of these videos that you see. And also too, make sure y'all like and subscribe. Really appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much. We out.